Olaf's Dagalas combines a direct, no-nonsense approach with creativity, intelligence, and hard work to make major contributions in transition metal-based catalysis. He also is an outstanding teacher and valued colleague. The associate professor at the University of Houston primarily explores the functionalization of carbon-hydrogen bonds, finding new ways to transform organic molecules into other organic molecules in fewer steps and with less waste. For his research success, love of teaching, and commitment to science, the Welch Foundation honors Dr. Douglas with the 2013 Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. He is a pure scientist. He is interested in the fundamental, mechanistic, synthetic chemistry. Figuring out how to make this group of atoms go into that arrangement. So he's got it all together on his science. There's no doubt about that. I and mean, his science is top notch, and that's what this whole word reflects. He has a, an encyclopedic uh, knowledge of the uh, chemical literature, which is really important in his field of study. He's an incredibly hard worker, and he's also someone who's creative and thinks about different ways of doing things. And he's a fantastic scientist and colleague. Born in Latvia, the son of electrical engineers, Dr. Douglas gravitated to chemistry early. I was blowing up things as a kid, so I like to burn things and blow the things up, and you know, at some point you start wondering how to make it more efficient and you start learning what's the chemistry behind explosions and fires and you know that's how I became interested. After receiving a chemical engineering degree from Riga Technical University, Dr. Douglas earned his doctorate in organic chemistry at the University of Wisconsin-Madison with Edwin Vettis and completed a postdoctorate with Maurice Brookhart at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. He joined the UH faculty in 2003. Dr. Douglas develops new reaction methodology to reduce the number of steps required to transform CH functionality into carbon-carbon or carbon-heteroatom bonds. These new reactions may ultimately prove useful in shortening pathways to drugs or as precursors to polymers in industry. So we are, I think, working on the borderline between organic and organometallic chemistry. We are trying to develop new organic methodology based on fundamental organometallic reactions and specifically we are trying to functionalize carbon-hydrogen bonds. I can think about it as a puzzle. So you uh, have a certain amount of information or certain pieces of information and you put it together and you get a new reaction. Dr. Douglas's impressive record of contributions to CH bond activation and cross-coupling chemistry has been lauded for its creativity and practicality. He also has contributed to the development of a new and efficient methane oxidation system, working with colleagues at the University of Chicago. Many of his 43 independent papers have been published in the field's leading journals and are highly cited, including one more than 300 times. Practicality is always very important in his science. It's very innovative, um, but he's always very careful to be mindful of the important problems in organic chemistry and having it, making sure that his science has an impact. In addition to his research prowess, colleagues praise his teaching ability in the classroom and as a mentor in the lab. He's been recognized with the UH Teaching Excellence Award. Well, he's sort of the whole package. The students hold him in very high regard. He's very demanding as a teacher, and that's a tough line to walk, to be as demanding as he is in the classroom and still have the students uh, appreciate you and respect you. While Dr. Douglas is often described as direct and gruff, colleagues say the exterior hides a caring man with a mischievous sense of humor. We all love Olas because he, a, he's very personable. Um, and he's a great guy to be around. And he's direct in everything he does. He's direct with me, he's direct with his colleagues, and he's direct with his students. He's absolutely dedicated to being a university professor, absolutely dedicated to his science, and at the same time, can have a lot of fun doing other stuff. 
One of the things that's fun about Olaf's is, you know, he and I sort of have this devious streak between the two of us that plays off each other a little bit. We'll usually cook up some sort of scheme to uh, pull a prank on somebody or to just to try a little bit of mischief. While Dr. Douglas's wife and sister are both artists, he says he confines his creativity to the lab. If I would sing, you would run away immediately. If I would draw, you would burn this thing. So I have no artistic talents whatsoever. It's enough if I can do one thing, which is chemistry. He typically puts in very long days on that chemistry. Wife Linda confirms his workaholic schedule, but says that off-duty, he enjoys occasional gardening. He loves uh, all kind of um, uh, countryside work, like we plant potatoes, which is not really usual for Texas. He likes straight lines with potatoes and all kind of, you know, practical, practical plants. And working in the garden is, I think, pretty relaxing for him. And drinking a beer a little bit outside. The two met through Olaf's sister, Sigita, and married 18 years ago. They love hiking in Big Bend and other state and national parks, and travel back to Latvia regularly to visit their families. Oleg Azarov, the 2012 Hackerman recipient and fellow Eastern European, calls Olaf's a friend. They have followed each other's research and careers since meeting at a conference when Dr. Douglas was a postdoc. You know, he's a noticeable character because, uh, you know, he's a big guy with a personality, so he's easy to remember. And I think he's, he's driven, he's relentless, he's really a very capable master of chemistry, a successful sort of executor of ideas. A Welch grant holder since 2004, Dr. Douglas strongly believes in the importance of basic research. Well, you can look at things like uh, microwaves and cell phones and everything, and everything comes out of fundamental research you've done, I don't know, 20, 50 or 100 years before, right? So good fundamental research eventually results in applications which benefit society. So like the challenge of developing new reactions, so I can think about new things every day. And you know, it's a lot of work, but it's interesting work. A smart and creative scientist with a talent for solving important problems, a committed teacher passionate about chemistry. A hard worker who sets high standards for himself and others. The Welch Foundation is pleased to recognize rising star Olaf Douglas with the Hackerman Award in Chemical Research.